here's a speed review guys uh i have continued to use the elf uh, what are they called halo glow liquid filters i have shades one and two i usually mix them together and they are great they are great i am addicted okay it's a definite yes for me with the elf halo glow filter i know they're hard to get mk beauty have a new range as well they have more shades in their range i haven't got one yet i can't find them <laughs> i keep going to buy them and they're always sold out surprise surprise okay so a mascara ah the eternal hunt for the perfect mascara the this is from cosmetic capital so it's a budget one this is L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Lash in waterproof. I sometimes need a waterproof mascara and the packaging's pretty cute. Uh, the last L'Oreal one I tried, which was the one with the green packaging, I liked for a while, but it went dry really fast. And I think this is the nature of some waterproof mascaras. This one's not drying out as quickly. It goes on quite easily. It does clump a little bit, um, but I use it as a last coat, a final coat on my other, over the top of my other mascara, whichever that, whatever that happens to be. And it's okay. And in Cosmetic Capital, it's, it's a really good price. So, you know, L'Oreal is generally quite reliable. Another mascara that I'm very much enjoying and I know is super hyped is the MK Beauty Extend Lash. I love it. I love everything about it. I love that it's a tubing mascara. I love that the wand, I love the, the chocolate brown, chocolate brown people, hard to get. Um, black brown it's called. You see that? Very good. I think these are about $28 um, standard price, but often MK Beauty, you can get it on sale at Woolies or um, my chemist warehouse doesn't have it, but I usually get MK Beauty from either their website or um, Woolies. So try that, it really is good and it's good for seemingly all types of lashes. So yes, I recommend it. Now some setting sprays. The MK Beauty Ultra Lock Makeup Setting Spray. It's okay. Um, I, it's probably about the same as the Rimmel one that I like, the Lasting go last and go i think it's called and it's not as long last there however as the maybelline lasting fix in the purple bottle which is like super concrete if you want your makeup to last get get some of that it'll never it won't you'll be able to get it off but it's it's it'll stay there all night um this is okay it's not magical but it's okay and it's not scented so that's also a win for people that have scent uh, allergies you know the skin reacts to perfume so uh, quite nice cute packaging yeah it's it's a it's a probably an eight eight and a half out of ten what's getting closer to ten and get and and nudge possibly nudging mac fix plus out of my you know it's it, on its top spot as my favorite setting spray or fixing spray is this i was in mecca recently and the saleswoman, lovely girl she was, talked me into trying this instead of MAC. And that was the same price, you get more product. And she was dead right. It is superb. It is long wear. It is fresh. I'm, I, you know, I, I've resisted the Charlotte Tilbury hype for a long time. Uh, I love Pillow Talk lipstick, I love it, but I haven't sort of dived into all the other hype stuff. But this is very good. And if you're a setting spray user, I mean, I'm a abuser. I use too much probably, but this is very, very nice and very effective, most importantly. And at $49, it would want to be. Yes, yes, we agree on that. I've been a fan of the Essence Good Stuff line for ages. Their primer, which is a dupe for the Glow Recipe Watermelon Drops, is superb, superb primer. And this is an adjunct product. This is the Hello Good Stuff 
three in one face mist hydrate fix and refresh with watermelon extract it's just lovely it's just fresh it's just something you pop in your handbag and you know liven up your face a little bit and it's really sweet and cute <laughs> cute nice feels good looks yeah doesn't do anything particularly but it looks cute and feels cute most importantly uh, the new Elf Power Grip Primer is magical. It is great. The niacinamide is fantastic in it. The makeup is, you know, very much locked onto your skin. The uh, I just wish they were bigger. They're just too small, like for the price. Come on, Elf. You know, you used to be the budget queen favorite, queen king favorite, um, and now not so much. I know that this is, there's a lot of stuff that's technology they've put into this, but it's a very small thing and I'm going to go through that in no time at all. So yeah, I will be repurchasing it because it is an excellent product, but it's really small. Okay, so another thing that I got at, 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 at Mecca was the hold, hang on, where is it? Got to find it. Found it, is the new Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, Mascara. This is beautiful packaging. It always has been beautiful packaging, hasn't it? This, this, look, this is, was a mascara. After I stopped using Max Factor Calorie 2000, if you know, you know. And in fact, I'm going to try that again because it's, it's back. I'm going to see if it's still as good as it, as it used to be. I started using this and I wore this for years, years and years and years on the recommendation of my sister-in-law. And then I stopped using and I've tried all these other ones since, you know, Essence, which is, has, has great mascaras. Uh, Mac Stack, you know how much I love Mac Stack. But this is a chocolate mascara in a cute chocolate tube. And it's got the famous hourglass wand. And it's really nice. It's as good as I remember it to be, but in brown. So there she is and that is all of uh, the stuff that i have new for speed review bye